Somebody sent me a video on YouTube. The video was called Light Skin and Mixed People Are Not Black. I also saw another video after that called Mulattoes Are Our Enemies. And the question to my head came up was, how black do you have to be to be black enough? So a while back, I was having a weird conversation with a dark-skinned, full black Jamaican brother who proceeded to tell me that I've got no right to talk about black issues, black culture, or black injustices, and that I should stop making videos uplifting black women, period, as it's not my place, because I'm a light-skinned guy who's only half black. I listened to this really, really annoying brother talk at me for a lot longer than I really wanted to. He then said, you should only uplift Hispanic women since you look more Hispanic than black. Now, what does Hispanic look like? Because I tried to explain to him that Hispanic is not a race, it's a culture. So you can be black and be Hispanic. You could be triracial and be Hispanic. So what is what what does a Hispanic person look like? I then try to explain him to explain to him that I'm not just half black. Right. He then told me that I've got no right to the black culture and being black is not something that you're even just born into, but something you have to experience on a daily basis. So having said that, right, here's the thing. I am a son of a proud black Jamaican father and a strong mix black and Taino Puerto Rican mother. Yes, I've got light skin. Yes, I have kinky hair. I was also raised in the projects of Marcy Houses in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. So I now have the question. If being black is more than just skin tone, it's more than just a way of life, a culture, heritage, blood, and experience, then how black do you have to be to be black enough? But how can you tell me that because I'm half Puerto Rican that I've got no right to embrace my Jamaican side? Whenever I'm in the UK, um, they automatically assume that I've got one black parent and one white parent simply because Puerto Ricans, Dominicans don't really live out there. You know, they don't really have Hispanics, so they don't see that kind of Hispanic look, which in essence, a so-called Hispanic or, the, or a Puerto Rican or a Dominican essentially looks like somebody who's biracial <laughs> to me, looking mixed means you're black. When I'm in New York, they automatically assume that <clears throat> I'm either Puerto Rican or Dominican. And I always found that funny when people try to define my race by using a nationality to classify me. Well, yeah, you could look Puerto Rican, but what does a Puerto Rican look like? It's a nationality. It's not a race. Whenever uh, a black woman is on TV or in a magazine, it seems like it's absolutely fine for her to be light-skinned or mixed. And black men don't ever seem to question that. They don't ever seem to bat an eyelid at that. They're not there saying, hold on, but this sister's light-skinned. She's not black. Or this sister's mixed. She, she can't be on the front cover of this magazine. But the very moment a light-skinned, mixed black guy like myself speaks out about injustices within our community, I'm automatically attacked and told, but you're not black. You have a Spanish last name. You're light-skinned. You look Puerto Rican. So let's totally ignore the fact that my last name is Ramirez Jordan. Ramirez is my mother's last name. Jordan is my father's last name. And let's simply focus on the Ramirez part. Right. Okay. Right. This man told me that having a Spanish last name takes away my blackness. Bearing in mind... This man had an English last name, right? The hypocrisy. So, considering the majority of African Americans have English last names, the majority of people in the Caribbean who are black have either uh, French last names, English last names, or Spanish last names, right? So, if we're using language to define blackness, then shouldn't all black people have last names like Olufemi, Adiyemi? Ogundari, Asante, 
Yakenge, I really think that he missed the history lesson on colonialism. Speaking French or having a French last name doesn't automatically make you white or French. But the statement that I'm not black enough to understand what it's like to be black, that really struck a nerve with me. So if I'm not black enough to understand what it's like, considering my father's black and my mother's mixed, right? With black, you know, with African blood, Taino blood, and yeah, white blood. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been stopped by police for no reason other than I fit the description of a light-skinned African-American. Or I fit the description of a mixed biracial guy. Or I fit the description of a Hispanic guy. I've had white people cross the street when they see me. I've been called a nigger. I've had people not offer me an interview simply because my last name implies dual heritage of black and Hispanic. Now, apparently, I'm not black enough, but the majority of African Americans or black Caribbeans are mixed with indigenous Indian and white blood. You know why? It's a little thing called slavery. And I've got no problems with um, biracial people um, wanting to identify as both. You have a black parent, a white parent, that's down to you. But me personally, I look at mixed people and see a black person. You're mixed, but you're black. You might not like it, and you might think that it's unfair, but even though you're mixed, society sees a black person, and you will be judged as a black person before you're judged as anything else. And I feel that these purists, let's call them purists, who themselves probably are not even genetically 100% indigenous African, are trying to wedge a divide between mixed, light-skinned black people and full black people. Malcolm X was black, but his mother was half white. So I guess he has no entitlement in the black struggle, right? Hmm. Barack Obama will forever be known as a black president, even though his mother was white. My big sister, um, she's much darker than me. And she has always been identified um, by other people in society as black before being identified as mixed. And we both share the exact same parents. You know, people would say, would assume that she's full black or that she's black. And she tells them, oh, um, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican and Jamaican. They're like, oh, you don't look like you got Puerto Rican in you. It's like, what? What does that look like? Now, if everything is solely about physical appearance and not my actual mix, then I find it funny when women compliment me on my full lips, my thick curly hair, and my bone structure. But hold on. Those traits clearly come from my black genes. But, Angel, your nose is straight. Yes, it is. And so's my father's nose. And he's full black. Next. Angel, you, you've got light skin, you know. Yes. There are many people in Africa that are light skinned. Go see the Khoisan. They look like Chinese people with, uh, with afros. Look at uh, North Africa. Look at East Africa. They've got very straight noses and they're light. Eritrea, for example. See, I knew an Eritrean woman who um, got refused a part in a movie because they said she wasn't black enough. But hold on. Both her parents are black. Both her parents came straight out of Africa, straight out of the motherland. And they've got no white blood in them at all. None of their family or their ancestors have ever mixed with uh, any white people. So how is she not black enough for this role? She is the epitome of Africa. She is the epitome of black. But because she's light-skinned? Because she's got loose curly hair? I think people need to recognize that being black or being indigenous to Africa doesn't mean that we look one particular way. There's many different shades and variations and mixes. Just because some of us aren't as dark as Lupita or have a looser curl pattern and not the kinkiest, the kinkiest hair textures does not make us any less black. We're all people with melanin and African ancestry. No one's got the right to dictate who is black enough based on the shade of their tone uh, or their complexion. We're not freaking Rachel Dolezal wannabes who woke up one day and decided to pick a race. 
We were born into this. Being born with lighter skin and looser curl pan than a 4C, that wasn't something that I chose. Team light skin and team dark skin is bullshit. And you know what's even more bullshit? Having our identity questioned by our own people is the craziest thing to me. Whether we're full black, or Puerto Rican, Dominican, triracial, we're all impacted by the effects of racism and still judged as being black before anything else. Yeah, our experiences as black people might differ slightly due to our skin tone, but in reality, we all share the same struggle. This division amongst black people makes us less effective in even trying to eradicate racism. I said it before, you can't destroy colorism by creating your own colorism. It doesn't work that way. Angel, thank you.